You don't even want to come within like a foot of these damn things, man. I love that. Little horse ranches. I have smacked the crap out of my leg. Going to be camping down in uh, the mountains, kind of near San Diego, Julian area. It's called the Laguna Campground. Riding through Joshua Tree here right now. This whole ride will be uh, through the desert like this. Going to cut all the way through to the south side of Joshua Tree and then through Box Canyon, then through the Anza Borrego Desert area, and then we'll start uh, gaining elevation and going into that mountain range over there. I'm wearing the brand new Alpine Stars Halo Dry Star jacket. And I just got it. So this is not only my first trip, but my first ride uh, with this jacket. And I'm riding with the sleeves off mode. So you can take the outer shell of the sleeves off. And I've also got the chest portion folded down. And this is for maximum airflow. And because uh, it is going to be close to 100 most of the day today through the deserts until I start to gain elevation and uh, so far this thing is really cool I mean there is a ton of air going over my arms it's like I'm wearing a hoodie or something there's just tons of airflow and it's keeping me really comfortable right now uh, so so far I'm really impressed with the jacket it's got a bunch of other great features and whatnot so after I've had it for a while, I'll do a uh, full review of this jacket here. This is the uh, Choya Cactus Garden. This is a really popular stop. If you ever come down here and walk through the Choya Cactus, you don't even want to come within like a foot of these damn things, man. They just get all over you and you cannot get these things off. They are nuts. company. This is the Laguna Mountains down here, uh, kind of near San, you know, not too far from San Diego. I'd say maybe like 50 miles and you would be in Oceanside. The roads and stuff around uh, Julian and then really amazing when you come over here to the Laguna Mountains. So you come out of Julian and you get on the Sunrise Highway and God, it's really beautiful. It's amazing. If you're local, you got to you got to come up here and uh, ride that weather's really nice. It's uh, a lot more temperate up here. It was about 100 degrees the whole way until I started coming up the mountains. If you're tired, I'm really sleepy. Could not sleep last night. Started watching Pistol on Hulu, which is uh, based on the book by Steve Jones about the Sex Pistols, and uh, it's amazing. So I'm loving it, and I, I started to get into that, and I couldn't turn it off. Um, so only had about five hours of sleep, so I'm feeling pretty sleepy here, but knowing me, I'll get a second wind about 10 o'clock, and then I'll be up late, so we'll see. All right, campground builders, designers, state people. Here's something that is not rad at the campground. I know it looks good, and you think this is going to be a good idea. These posts right here, but they are at a height where you kind of forget they're there, and I have smacked the crap out of my leg twice on these posts where I like turned around to walk towards the bike or something and just smash right into it. I got a big ass lump on my uh, shin. So I think you got to make them taller or not have them at all. 
So I picked up these uh, playing cards called Base Camp Card Company. I'm not really a card player, but what I thought was cool about them is the cards have questions on them. So uh, I'm going to read a couple questions and just answer them for fun. And we'll see. Anything good comes from this. This could be a total disaster. Would you rather be able to speak whale or read a baby's mind? Or read baby's minds? I mean, that's an easy one. I don't think there's anyone that would uh, choose babies over whales. Okay, here's a good one. I saw this one earlier. What could you give a 40-minute presentation on with absolutely no preparation? I could do quite a few of those, actually. <laughs> I could do one about selling and sales because uh, I have tons of sales experience. I think I could do a great one on hiring, training, and mentoring employees. That would be a really good one. Um, yeah, that would be two that I could do. Like, I actually have just gotten up and done that before. What hobby would you get into if money and time weren't an issue? So the hobby that I would, for me, I would get back into. Um, I started flying a few years back. Um, and I'm still very interested in flying. I, there's something about aviation that's just really amazing. And there's a few things that got me out of, you know, working on a private pilot's license. Time and money and my bad eyesight. The thing about flying small airplanes is I feel like to really get the most out of it, you have to own a plane. That would be the number one thing that I would really get back into. And I am going to... Um... new coffee this morning it's called reborn coffee and it's uh these pour overs like i usually use but a uh, different company so i got a little sampler pack here this is the colombian so we'll try that out see how she does good flavor can't make a stop to Julian without getting some apple pie. So I hit that uh, before I started my trek home. Now, unfortunately, when I stopped at the Starbucks on the way home, I noticed that my Kelty tent had shifted in the way I packed it and got right up against my exhaust pipe and melted the crap out of it. So you can see in the picture here, just how badly it destroyed my uh, tent that I've only used four or five times, and it was a great tent. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining me on this trip to the Laguna Mountains and Julian area. If you like these videos, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much. We will see you soon.